Hi guys, so I have said on numerous occasions how politicians, namely the government, cabinet ministers, the prime minister himself, are able to lie in parliament and not be held accountable for it. So you're going to hear Jacob Rees-Mogg lie about the European Union and emissions standards when he's asked a question by a Labour MP. Chairman, very sure. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Um, can I say I appreciate to leave the House. I appreciate his uh, support for Toad of Toad Hall and the great, uh, the open road and trans uh, and the, the desire for everyone to drive. But has he seen the British Lung Foundation's reports this morning that six million elderly people are at risk from air pollution? That we we are poisoning children, pregnant women. We are poisoning the atmosphere which all of us breathe. And isn't it time we had an early debate on the need for powerful changes? Let people drive, but let them drive electric and stop them poisoning people with the what comes out of the tail of, uh, of, of, of Toad's uh, uh, vehicles. Um, uh, Mr. Speaker, the Honourable Gentleman is right to raise the issue of air pollution though he um, doesn't mention the great diesel scandal. Diesel which was encouraged by the last Labour government, of which he was a supporter, and by the European Union, with figures fiddled by um, European manufacturers to pretend that diesel emissions were less dangerous than in reality they are. It is one of, to my mind, the great scandals of modern political history. Now, Jacob Rees-Mogg, instead of actually responding to the question about can we have a debate on the promotion of electric cars, he starts attacking the Labour, the Labour Party and talks about the European Union. Now, I'm not sure what Jacob Rees-Mogg is talking about here, because if we look at this data, and I will share this data on, uh, in the description of this video, these are European Union standards on, for example, diesel. And you can see here, levels of carbon dioxide, nitric oxide, and other um, pollutants. And we can see here the very first um, emission standard was brought in in 1992. And it was called the Euro 1 standard. Then it was updated, gradually updated, Euro 2, Euro 3, Euro 4, Euro 5A, Euro 5B, Euro 6 in 2014. And you can see how they the levels of, for example, carbon dioxide are gradually going down. The levels of nitric oxide are also going down and other pollutants are gradually going down over the years. So if the European Union was promoting diesel, why would it be reducing the emissions that diesel cause? That doesn't make any sense to me. But anyway, um, Jacob Rees-Mogg, of course, attempted to blame the European Union for the action taken by a European manufacturer. That would be like blaming the UK government because of uh, what one British company is doing. And, well, you know, and he's, of course, lying here once again. It says here that the European Union warned Volkswagen in 2018 that it did not believe it was moving fast enough to issue repairs on its recalled cars, providing consumers with appropriate information on what steps Volkswagen was uh, was doing to resolve the problem and what compensation they were offering affected consumers. So when Volkswagen had been fiddling uh, the books when, or cooking the books when it came to emission standards, the European Union told them you need to uh, compensate people, you need to be transparent about what you're going to do and move forward. And it wasn't just the European Union. You can see here next, uh, Volkswagen agreed to a 1 billion euro fine imposed by Germany for failing to monitor the employees that modified the software behind the scandal in 2018. So what Jacob Rees-Mogg is saying that um, the European Union were promoting diesel and were somehow involved in this scandal regarding Volkswagen. Of course, you notice he didn't mention the name of the company. Um, perhaps he's afraid that he would be liable or something. Um, but he, he was trying to link the European Union to Volkswagen. And there is no link between the European Union and Volkswagen. But once again, this is another example of uh, Jacob Rees-Mogg, a Tory MP, a, 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 an important person within the government who is 
lying in Parliament and he's not been called out by the House Speaker and he's not been called out by Parliament itself. Let me know in the comment section, guys, what you think. As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot. I want to say a big, big thank you to all of my patrons. You ensure that this channel continues to exist. I'm eternally grateful for all of your support. If you join Patreon, you will receive instant access to our Discord server, where we have both audio and video chats. You can chat with me and other patrons, where we discuss important and non-important issues. Becoming a patron per month costs about the same as a large coffee. So why not check it out?